today we're gonna take this porch from this to this. Let's get started. You don't have to have a massive budget to have an on-trend home. Showroom Steals is all about breaking down the trends that you would see in a designer showroom, but we show you how you can get the look for less. We've got a fun one for you today. In some of our past episodes, we asked you guys to let us know what other trends you wanted us to cover, and we heard you loud and clear. So today, we're breaking down cottage core. And not only are we breaking down the trend, we're gonna show you how you can get the look for less. So what exactly is cottage core? It's described as an idealized version of rural life, particularly the English countryside. It's a simpler lifestyle that's more sustainable and in tune with nature. Cottagecore homes love rustic woods, simple fabrics, and cozy knits, copper accents, loads of knickknacks, flickering candles, and of course, they love gardens. The color palette has lots of mossy greens, creamy whites, dusty pinks, and rich beiges. Now I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. You don't have to live in the English countryside to get that cottagecore look. One area that's a sure bet no matter what amount of size you're working with is a porch, patio, or deck. So now I'm gonna show you how you can bring this trend to life in your outdoor space, and I think you are going to love it. All right, first things first, before we get started on our cottagecore patio, we've got some shopping to do. I ordered a lot of things online on Lowe's.com for in-store pickup, but we're also gonna check out the aisles and see what we can find. Let's go shopping. So one of the things you guys might not know is that Lowe's has a home decor aisle and it's filled with hidden gems. One of the things that I'm seeing right off of the bat that fits into this cottage core trend is this adorable potted faux plant. The scalloped edge gives a nice romantic vibe and best part is you can't kill it. Don't be afraid to shop the sales section because depending on what's available at your local Lowe's, you might find some absolute treasures. This pillow down here is only $17 at my local store and with this added floral touch, it's perfect for cottage core. Okay, so right now we're gonna walk through the indoor portion of the lawn and garden section. This one is already catching my eye. It's got those copper vibes. The blue feels very sort of fairy-esque. This is a little bit more of a modern look, but with these floral elements, it's a great tie into the theme. See tons and tons of nice cream options. Let's head outside to the lawn and garden section where we'll find most of our larger pots as well as a ton of plants and flowers. This washed terracotta pot has a really nice rustic vibe and it's big enough that if you have any large foliage, it'll fit in there really easily. I also see this great lattice pot down here and anything with lattice is sort of reminiscent of a secret garden. And then last but not least, you really can't go wrong with anything terracotta. Ornamental grasses are great to add to your cottage core patio. If you're working with a smaller space, some of these littler guys are great for a small patio. And if you have a little more room, you can try something bigger like this guy. And if you add it to a pot, it'll sort of create your own little secret oasis for you. And of course, we cannot forget flowers for our cottage core patio. Daisies, asters, cone flowers are all great options. And they also attract a ton of bees, which is great for this natural vibe. We got tons of plants that are gonna be gorgeous on our porch, as well as some decor pieces and all of this stuff that I ordered online and picked up in store. So now we're ready to go decorate. And I'm gonna show you guys the patio space we're working with today. As you can tell, it's a relatively small space, but don't worry, we're gonna show you how to use that size to your advantage. And it's gonna feel like a really cozy nook when we're done. Over here, I've got a crazy pile of stuff going on. We picked up a ton of stuff at Lowe's and believe it or not, everything that you see here, we got for $800 for this total patio makeover. We've got tons of great flowers that we showed you earlier, like ornamental grasses, these cone flowers, knockout roses that are super romantic. We've also got bistro sets and pillows so that you can entertain out here and then some other great natural earthy decor. So now we're gonna get started and I'm gonna start with a rug, of course. We've got this nice, sort of dusty rose one, which really fits with our color palette. This is the most important part of our patio is our bistro set. And what's great about a bistro set is that they're small enough to fit on almost any patio space, but still give you some options to come out here and entertain or dine out here. All right, so next we're grabbing some copper window boxes. If you don't have windows out here, don't fret. You can add them to your ledge and they add some nice height to your patio. We talked about terracotta pots in store. These guys are really a great price point and they come in all different kinds of sizes so that anytime you go to Lowe's, there's tons to choose from no matter which flowers you're coming home with. My suggestion is to start filling it in from the back and then put the higher ones in the back and start stacking a little bit lower so that you create this little nook around you with flowers. And 
And for our piece de resistance, we've got this great knit blanket that's really gonna add to that homey feel out here and make you just wanna come sit down and hang out. And that's really it, guys. This came together in no time, and like I said, we got all of this for this full porch makeover for under $800. Depending on what you choose, you can pick any budget to do this, basically. You can scale back, you can scale up, but really, I mean, I think what we're working with is pretty fantastic. I love that these colors are all tied together. The pink in the rugs goes with the pink in the flowers. We've got those purples and those greens that we talked about. I love the patina on these copper accents because what we're going for is sort of that antique vibe. And then you can't forget to add some of these kitschy elements like the teak mushrooms and my favorite, the garden gnome down here. It gives that sort of collected feel so that everything isn't totally pristine and prim and proper. It just feels like it naturally came together with all of the things that you love into a super cozy space. And then of course, we can't forget the bistro set, which I think is going to be the place you're hanging out all the time, entertaining, having lunch with a friend and your afternoon cup of tea in the English countryside. Enjoy. That's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in and be sure to like, subscribe, and let us know which trend you want us to cover next.